I want to show you something interesting. We haven't talked about Carl Gon uh, in a little while. He's um kind of been under the radar. He doesn't do much uh, as he used to anymore. Um, I think the main reason is because he's scared of getting banned. But no matter what, he's still, t he's still on his same cringe. And uh, Carl Benjamin has a new channel that I that we haven't, I don't think we've covered before. The podcast of the Lotus Eaters, which is incredibly interesting. I have no clue what that's supposed to be. It has like this weird uh, sort of like Indian imagery. And we all know what happens when uh, British people start uh, encroaching on like uh, <laughs> India in Indian things. So, you know, I'm kind of, that, that part kind of worries me. I'm not going to lie to you. But this video is called How Fascism Works. And I, and I have an idea that this can be quite interesting indeed. Because I don't think any of these guys really know how fascism works, or they are fascists and they want to hide it. Anyways, I just wanted to take a look. Also, we're going to be playing a little bit of Boy to Go. You know, there's insufferable lists of this is fascism that you get from leftists and attempt so to stigmatize true. conservatism or patriotism or anything that actually would prevent you from wanting to rush headlong into communism. I don't know. Like, so, so here's the thing this is just untrue. These, so people like, okay, I know we're stopping early, but here's the thing, all right? Fascism does have a definition, and a lot of, like, modern normie conservatives uh, can be susceptible to things that would lead uh, the uh, the country down, like, a fascist path. Um, that part is just factually true. Um, these types of people get really mad about that because then that uh, jeopardizes, because then people start using the the no no f word and starts to jeopardize um, their their position and what they want to do, which is good because Carl Benjamin is an avowed ethnic nationalist or white nationalist for specifically uh, England, like an Anglo-Saxon nationalist. So. Um, I, I, I think the less he's able to um, get his ideology to catch hold with normal people, the better the world already is. Honestly, England's bad enough already. Uh, the, the British public is wrong on nearly everything study shows. Well, a new one of those has just dropped. Uh, <laughs> Great. You know how to spoil me, Cole. I love, I love these because the thing is, right? Fascism is actually not as opaque and mysterious as people make out. There are books written by fascists that you can read that will explain fascism to you in the way that they think. Hmm. And they, these, these leftists clearly have read none of them and act as if it's like, right, okay, fascism is this weird like, uh, thing that we have to try and identify parts of. It's the UN's definition of woman. Yes. Timeless, formless, yeah. the world. Exactly. And so we have to, we have to study like, what they've done. And, and it's like, no, we can just listen to their words and actually take them at face value. Like, I don't believe that the fascists are actually lying when they tell us we worship the state. Hmm. We want everything to be within the state. The state is the god that lives within us all and controls everything that we do <laughs> bro just listen to the fascists they wouldn't lie just they definitely they just wouldn't why would they lie what are you talking about fascists don't lie they, 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 they don't lie about what they believe what are you talking about why would i why would i ever listen why, why would i ever not listen to them they'll just tell me exactly what they believe low iq they have a benefit for lying about what they believe. Same way as why, like, Hitler had a benefit for lying about what he believed as well. Um, so you get people onto your movement without having to tell them all the nasty details about what things are about what things are actually going to happen. Hitler didn't tell everybody, uh, like, um, all the time that he wanted to do, like, a crazy, like, holocaust, you know, from, from the get-go. That didn't happen. What are you talking about? He talked about how you wanted to, like, make people's lives better. And, like, Mussolini was like, I want to make the trains run on time. You know? That's what they were talking about. It wasn't just... <laughs> okay. So it is a little ridiculous. And state and nation are two incredibly different things. I don't think they understand that, though. Uh, a nation is, like, a group of people with, like, a shared historical and or cultural background. Uh... A state is like a governmental apparatus. But first, let me consult my tea leaves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I mean, obviously, it's nonsense, but I don't yeah. disbelieve the fascists when they tell me that's what they see of the world. And so if you want to know more, go and check out our latest book club, which is me talking about Giovanni Gentili's Origin and Doctrine of Fascism. Giovanni Gentili was the philosopher of fascism, and he makes it just excessively clear that fascism is an outgrowth of socialism. Where liberalism and socialism failed, he feels that fascism will succeed. And so he's taking on that tradition and just going to a logical end point. And so to the conservative, who of course are the traditionalist who stands outside of this entire tradition, watching uh, communists essentially trying to say- What the hell is it? So it, fascism is an outgrowth of socialism because Giovanni saw that Socialism and liberalism were bad, so he had a new idea. How does that make it an outgrowth of 
socialism, wouldn't it be an outgrowth of liberalism just as easily? Because like liberalism, the type of liberalism that we have is also supposed to be, it, it's supposed to have like types of ideas. Um, it, it, it's like for something, right? And like, especially liberal democracy came about after like the, you know, like feudal times and with serfs and kings and everything. That was huge. That was a big thing. So why isn't it out? So why are you just specifically saying it's an outgrowth of socialism and not uh, capitalism or liberalism? I don't know. This is really strange. It's very odd. Is socialism? Wait, if this is the case, is socialism an outgrowth of liberalism then? And like capital L liberalism then? If, that, if that's the case, is socialism just liberalism? Because like, honestly, the, one of the big reasons why Marx wanted to come up with a new system is to make good on the promises of liberalism, but for real this time, right? So I don't know, it's just very strange. Hmm, weird, weird how that works out. Say that fascism is right wing or conservative or something like that. It's just nonsense. It is the final form of leftism. That's what fascism is, as I explain in this thing. But anyway, let's let's so go on to uh, talk about this. So we've got Umberto Eco's famous fourteen warning signs of fascism. You can scroll down on this just a little bit, just so you can see them. Uh, you can go, go down a little bit. There's a list. There we go. Right. These like the, what you'll notice here, right, is. All of these things are outside of fascism and looking in, right? right? So it's, oh, it's a cult for action, of action for action's sake. It's like, well, no, actually it's not. Uh, if you read the fascists, it's not for action's sake. It's to ensure that intellectualism and practice are not divorced from one another. Now, you know, whether you agree with that or not, it doesn't matter. They actually have a reason for it. And so this is why fascists concern, consider themselves... Yeah, one second. I'm going to expand this really quick. Let's expand this super quick. Uh, one, cult of, uh, cult of tradition. Uh, he just kind of skips through that part. And so he skips to three. All right, let's let's take a let's take a look at number three, the cult of action for action's sake, action being beautiful in and of itself. It must be taken before or without any previous reflection, thinking about a form of emasculation. The official fascist intellectuals were mainly engaged in attacking modern culture and uh, the liberal intellectual in, into I don't know. Intel. Oh, geez. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, this is the first time I've seen this word written. Okay. So, come me a little bit of slack. It, it tell, intelligentsia. Um, I think that's what that is. Uh, for having betrayed traditional values. He also called him Eco. I, lo I love M M Beko Eco. He's my, he's my favorite philosopher. My favorite philosopher. And also, I don't know. He just didn't read the rest of this. He said, you need to d commit action now. You need to do something now. Don't think further on about it. Because you don't, because like we're going to lose something, all right? They betrayed traditional values. He literally states right there that they betrayed uh, traditional values. So that's why you need to, um, so that's why you need to do this action, right? So, but, but okay, which is true, Wh which is true. It's the same thing. It, you've, you've seen this before, right? You've seen this in like fascist regimes before. They all believe this that, hey, you may not trust me. Hey, you may not like me, but these guys failed and those guys failed. And you, hey, we may not agree on everything, but hey, just, just, just give me a chance. Just let me have a piece of power, okay? Just, just let me have a ride for it for a little bit, just really quickly, like super quick, okay? And I pro, hey, listen, I'll show you something new. I'll show you something different. Hey, don't, don't worry about it. Come on, just get, just, just let me have a try, you know? They all failed. Let me have a try. That's a big thing that fascism does. Tells to be anti-intellectual because Gentili particularly thought intellectualism was a divorce of the intellect from the the productive capacity of an action. And so what's the point? You're just stewing in your own reasonings. Paralysis by analysis. Yes. Yep. And so he actually adopts the Marxist and Surrealian view of praxis. Yep. And so when you hear leftists going, oh, we need praxis, we need practice, praxis. Well, that's literally Gentili's formulation or Sorel's formulation. The no, it's not. Okay. So this is so this is just factually incorrect. Praxism or or praxis is bringing theory into the real world in into into action. It goes from the page and then on to real action that can change the world, right? That's what praxis is. It, that's that's all it is. It's just real world action of theory, bringing it into the real world, you know? You you write the theory, I get in the streets. Bring a reactionary is not praxis, okay? That's not how that works. And in the 14, like, um, you know, tells for fascism, that's not what he wrote either. I don't know. He's just like deliberately not reading it. Really frustrating one is, of course, number one, because you've done your video on the progressive skin suit. I love the mm. analogy. But traditionalism and fascism, fascism wears the veneer of tradition. But when you have a fundamental transformation of the country, 
away from the precepts, particularly in America and Britain, for mm. example, that are antithetical to this kind of... Um, it, it, we're communitarian, but we're not collectivist. Sure. You can't call it traditionalism. You cannot have American fascism. You cannot have British fasc fascism and retain the patriotism that it wears the skin suit off. So there, there is just... A, a, just to hammer this why? up, right? the exact quote from Gentili is, the fascist state is a revolutionary state. Yeah, and this so is why, this is why as, as in Sternhill's book that you've mm. covered as well, this is why they exalted the, the Paris communes. That's why it's germinated yeah. there. And that's why it's the bastard sister of socialism, because Marx and Engels both praise the Paris communes as a perfect example of yeah. Marxism in action. And that's why every socialist, whenever they gain control of the country, they treat... This is just low IQ rambling. What the hell is happening? I knew this was going to be bad. Honestly, I did not expect it to be this bad. This is just not smart. This is just low IQ from here. here. I want to hear that one more time. Call it traditionalism. You cannot have a tree away from the precepts, particularly in America and Britain, for mm. example, that are antithetical to this kind of... Um, it, it, we're communitarian, but we're not collectivist. Sure. You can't call it traditionalism. You cannot have American fascism. You cannot have British fasc fascism and retain the patriotism that it wears the skin suit off. So there, there is just... A, a, just to hammer this home, right? The exact quote from Gentili... So it, does, it just doesn't make any sense how, how this can happen. What is the tradition, right? What, what, what's the tradition that you're trying to save? Um, or like some imagined past because that's the big thing is that big imagined past of what we were we were great and we need to just bring it back and we need to protect ourselves and then we need to and then we bring bring about fascism it is revolutionary to an extent but that's how these conservatives view themselves they are revolutionary remember paul joseph watson friend of uh, uh carl benjamin he literally views himself as rev revolutionary, remember? Remember how he said, what was it, conservatism is the new uh, punk or something? Conservatism is the new, like, counterculture? That's counter... How is counterculture not revolutionary? How, how does that work out? How do you change the degenerate culture or something and the, with their de degenerate art and their fat and their um, liking brown people and their uh, women get to uh, take their bra off sometimes without... And, and you think it's fundamentally ingrained, but that needs to change. How is that rev not revolutionary? You are, you are, you do believe yourself as a revolutionary. You do. Stop pretending that you don't, because you absolutely do. Yeah, like, like Carl, like Carl, when he was trying to run for office before he said that he, um, before he made like a weird rape comment about some woman and got kicked out of his party. Uh, viewed himself as like a part of a revolutionary party. Absolutely. We're going to change the status quo. We're going to change things. Things got to be different. And that's it's all it's all revolutionary. Stop. Stop pretending. Stop pretending it isn't what you know that it is. It is a form of revolution. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're reverting back to what you what some imagined past that you want to go back to. Come on is the fascist state is a revolutionary state. Yeah, and this is why, this is why, as, as in Sternhill's book that you've mm. covered as well, this is why they exalted the, the Paris communes, that's why it's germinated yeah. there. And that's why it's the bastard sister of socialism, because Marx and Engels both praise the Paris communes as a perfect example of yeah. Marxism in action. And that's why every socialist, whenever they gain control of the country, they treat the country like an occupied territory. Mm. You know, they don't have any respect for the, th the, the existing structures and, and society that they've conquered. They then start just conquered. reorganizing, destroying, they you know, building they new things. It's like, okay, but this isn't a tradition. This is a conquering army yeah. that has come from within in the, its own civilization. That's why your Witten speech was so good, because socialism and fascism are both wars on the indigenous peoples. Yeah, they are. Mm. They absolutely <laughs> are. And so, and, but as you can see, like all of this stuff is from the outside. This is like an alien has come down and been like, oh, well, rejection. <laughs> the indigenous people, bro. Okay, wait, just so you know, if, if you want to know why he said that, Car uh, Carl believes that like Anglo-Saxons are like indigenous people of, of, of Britain. They are, they are the Britons, okay? They are just like the Native Americans, and he unironically believes like Britain kicking out brown people is like a, is like a form of land back. Okay, I'm not lying to you. This is unironically how he views him, how he views himself. He is an ethno, he is a British ethno nationalist, and the problem is this isn't even true. So this isn't even true. Okay, Anglo Saxons are not in indigenous people uh, to Britain. It, it, they they aren't. Okay. I'm I'm sorry if this is the first time that you're hearing this. Anglo-Saxons actually killed off the original like Gaelic and um original original Britons who like lived there before like they are uh, their like um uh barbaric hordes came to take their lands and uh kill their people and genocide them and incorporate them into uh what we know as like the Anglo well the Anglos what my bad the Angles and the Saxons came fucked over the uh the native britons and then tried to call themselves and then breeded together made anglo-saxons 
the 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 peoples that we know of today but they are not native to england that's just not true it's just factually incorrect and it's very strange as well angles that's true white people were the original socialists because they were angles before their angles was angles anglos are mutts of welsh nords and saxons you hate to see it you hate to see it should have analytical criticism it's like no they actually don't they actually embrace the criticism because of course that allows them to engage in their revolution rejection of diversity that's not true at all like you can't reject diversity in italy for example like, Italy is not a monoracial state. No, there's the old joke of, uh, if you look into a Sicilian's genealogy, there's a more hiding behind the woodshed of your ancestry somewhere. Yes, uh, huh? <laughs> without a doubt. This, so it, like, and the fascists, of course, never talk about things like diversity because the fascist sees every individual within the state as a component of the state, and they are the people who ended up coining, Gentili particularly, uh, said that politics infuses everything, as in the personal is political, as in there's nothing outside the state, nothing against the state, however Mussolini formulated it. This is just, I, I can't, I, I don't want to pause it after every, after every like sentence, but damn, this is dumb. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Lord, this is stupid. It, it is, it, it is dumb shit, right? Here's the thing, because they have to provide cover for themselves. They, they need to provide cover for themselves. They don't, nobody wants to be the bad guy, okay? Here's the big thing. Nobody wants to be the bad guy. N Nazis didn't view themselves as the bad guy. Nobody views themselves as the bad guy. Nobody... Like, no matter how bad their political positions are, or no matter how, like, evil they, um, how many people they need to kill, it's just, like, the cost of doing business, you know? Like, it, it is a, like, their death is just a sacrifice. These types of people, when they're going to experience this and that, it's gotta happen. It's okay, because, like, it, that's, that's what's gotta be, that's what's gotta get done. And so, I, I, I don't know how you can say that you can't reject diversity. Like, what, what do you mean by diversity, right? Because, like, if you're going to go this route, I, I would like to say, um, wow, thank you, uh, Mr. Mr. Benjamin, for believing that uh, there is no such thing as a uh, white because uh, they're there because all of these different peoples are diverse, you know, from Britain, from Britons to Spanish people, from Spanish people to French and then the French to the German to Lithuanian to Estonian to Russian to Ukrainian, you know, oh man, to Croatian. They're all so different. There's no possible way. There's no possible way that you can have like white culture because like they're not they're not all one person. If that's what he, if that's the road he's going to take. OK, I guess that's still factually incorrect because you can still like try to whittle it down to like a new ethnic group. But I, I mean, wh whatever, I guess it's, it's never like the truth has ever really gotten in their way. And so this this sort of way of approaching fascism is just totally wrong headed. And so when we see the, the latest version has dropped from Jason Stanley, Jason Stanley is an American philosopher, a, t a professor of philosophy at Yale University. So we can immediately discount what he says. Absolutely. And it's, it's so actually, true. I mean, he, he, he teaches, he has degrees, he's smarter than me. Language and I can't believe so him. So not political philosophy then. So don't know what he's doing outside of his field. Yeah, so he's basically. a postmodern subversive that manipulates language. Maybe. Does he feel the same way about Jordan Peterson? And I have yep. actually studied it myself, and obviously epistemology is important. So but I'm, if he uses words wrong in this context, I'm not going to... It's not even that he uses the himself. words wrong. I mean, he, I think he does, actually, when you say it. He, he does use the words wrong. But what it is, is he's trapped within the revolutionary mindset that leads on to so. fascism, where they're trying to establish a kind of year zero always mm. present in the now, uh, con like eternal and ever expanding set of rights. End of history. End of history, yeah, exactly. They're, that's what they're, that's what they're aiming at. And so it's just peculiar how someone like this can produce. Just so you know, this is just completely incorrect by, um, I, 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 I can't speak by, I can't speak of like socialists. So I can't speak of, um, what is it? Like fascist quote unquote philosophers, but this is something that you need to understand. Um, the socialists do not view themselves as the end of history or something, or as like the, the final stage or something. That's just untrue. I know Marx specifically believes, uh, that these types of things like from fash from like feudalism to capitalism and then capitalism to socialism is a natural movement because we're not at the end of history, right? Actually, Marx believes the exact opposite of this. That we're not at the end of history. History keeps moving. Actually, a lot of he he contends that the that the capitalist is the one that believes that we're at the end of history. That we're at the peak of what like um economy can bring, and we can't move to another uh, system because nothing will be as better, right? So it's so the, his entire thing actually completely goes against like what Benjamin is talking, what Mr. Carl here is talking about. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um on like any socialist theory that I've that that I know of and I and I know that he 
knows of and pretends to understand. <laughs> right? Like this is this is all this is all just low IQ ridiculous. It it, ma it makes no goddamn sense whatsoever. And produce his manifesto against fascism. Uh, he's got the the ten pillars of yeah, fascism. How dare you name. dislike fascism? He, he posted this. How fascism works? And it's like okay. Like fascism will literally do whatever is practicable to get to a particular end goal. And so why not just read about the end goal and suddenly everything from that flows rather than looking at what they did and then trying to divine their goal. Nah, because here, here's the thing, because like history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes. And the way that other fascist organizations and like parties have gone about trying to build about their world is very similar and we can see similar paths so we can understand what's what's probably going to happen. Right. People are just people. People aren't like just like mysteriously different from like one 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 point in time to the next. Some uh, uh, cultures and people are going to be more susceptible to fascism um, and, and uh, th than others. They could be just primed for it, especially if you take advantage of like a bad situation. Uh, you can do that. Another like great fascist uh, tactic is to take advantage of a situation that's bad for a certain group of people and then try to provide themselves as like the only reasonable solution for that like that's why hitler was able to come to power during um nazi germany that's why um the american fascists tried to come to power during the great uh depression thankfully socialists won that battle as well you know i mean happen it's happened in brazil it's happened in america it's happened in uh, england you know it's happened in uh, Japan, it's happened in, uh, China, it's happened everywhere. It's, ha it's happened everywhere. Okay. So, and to varying degrees of success, uh, it just doesn't make any sense. Mysteriously. But the thing is, wait, also he was like, oh, just like, look at their end goal and then everything else will just perfectly flow. Well, they won't take, well, there's some paths that we know that we won't take that, that they won't take. And there's some paths that we know are the easiest path to get through to their end goal. So we can pick up on things that are going to the end goal and then be able to stop them at the head without being like, without throwing our hands up and being, like, well, I don't know what's happening until they get to the end goal, but then it's too late. I don't know. It's really interesting how he's like, don't worry about like exactly how they get there. Right. Because like, we don't have to worry about like, because the end goal, we'll just know when the end goal is happening, you know? Um, you know everything else just flows from there why are you calling everybody a fascist what are you talking about bro i'm I, i'm not fascist they're not fascist what, what's happening you know we'll, we'll know when fascism is happening bro ah uh, you can't just say that's going to happen all the time what what i don't know uh, he only wants you to act when it's too late it's very curious how that works out is it not and again like all very left-wing neo-lib sort of uh, analyses of anything -liberal. you may as well just uh you may as well just say you don't understand and you may as well just say conservatism is fascism as far as i'm concerned because i don't understand conservatism or fascism That's not true. right number one the mythic past we descend and i love the we ah right okay so now we're 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 stigmatizing the concept of groups there is no such thing as society there's no <laughs> exactly that's why i said neo-lib yep. like it's it, literally there's no such thing as society is there there's no we like, they, we the people, oh, there's a we here, there's a we in the American Republic, there's no such thing, there's no American Republic, there's no we the people. But there's also, and it's the same thing with the accusation of patriarchal in there, yeah. it's the idea that we're all atomized individuals, but yeah. also neoliberalism says there are a set number of material tenets which we all share as a common interest. Yeah. So we are collectively all moving towards the same goal of upgrading our material conditions, but oh no, we can't be defined as a collective even though we're basically meat robots who want pleasure satiation. Yes. And so anyway, he says the we fuck is from the glorious patriarchal past. The fuck is happening? What what the hell is, what the hell is happening? Didn't they say that they were like they used like some some other word that isn't collectivist? Or they're like co collective uh, uh curious or something. Whatever whatever he used earlier. But they're not collectivist. Well, okay. Like you you love your nation, you love patriotism, okay? You love nationalism. All of these things are incredibly collective ideas about like what a nation, what a people, what a group of people are, what happens when they come together, all of these, all of these things. And now you're just trying to demonize it when it doesn't work out for you or when somebody points out what you're actually doing. It's quite, it's curious how that works out, isn't it? It, it, it is curious how that works out. An interest. Yeah. So we are collectively all he read all was moving one towards word, the same goal of upgrading our material conditions. But oh no, we can't be defined as a collective even though we're basically meat robots who will want pleasure satiation. Yes. And so anyway, he says, we descend from a glorious patriarchal past. They threaten that legacy. I mean, for a start, right? There are lots of people who don't descend from a glorious past, uh, but and like the Italians being the first. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, so just, true. So base. Uh, 
but they threaten that legacy. It's like, well, I mean, yeah, if they are the Soviet Union coming mm. to invade your country, yeah, they, they threaten that legacy. Like, the, the fact that you can distinguish between one group and another group does not a fascist make. And it's, you know, like, this is huh? essentially saying, well, the more history you have, the more fascist that you are. Yeah. It's like, sorry, that's not how it works. Can literally. I make a small point about patriarchy as well? Oh, what? yeah. <laughs> so true. Essentialization, otherizing, dehumanization. All of this literally just means to the leftist, the more the the more uh, uh, history you have, the more uh, the fascistism -y you are. Big brain. Thank you, Carl Benjamin. I don't know where we'd be without you. You're so smart. Holy. I'm so glad that you've been able to dissect this cringe fraud. Uh, this 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 like cringe fraud um, professor. Only if, brother. Thank you. Do you love Latin? I'll be banned from a talk TV show by making at one point <laughs> as well. Um, the idea of patriarchy is the same as the neolibs saying we're all motivated by the upgrade of material conditions. Mm. The idea that there's this pan-continental conspiracy for male-dominated societies, which predates you know, our discovery of the Rosetta Stone, which allows us to mm. communicate with each other, or things like telephones, means that it's either so oh, astoundingly historically to... ignorant an analysis that it's... Imp allows us to communicate with each other. We, we already were able to communicate with each other. But it's just like the first, like, it's just written down. All right, whatever, I guess. Possible, or that if every civilization across the world before they even knew each other came to that conclusion, it must be biologically rooted. So you're either a patriarch- Well, not everyone did. Or it didn't so bloody you know. exist. Well, I mean, just, they they call everything patriarchy yeah. anyway. So the entire past, as far so as they're concerned, is patriarchal. True. So talking about any amount of past is patriarchy. Yeah. But also the mythic the past. Is, I mean, like, was almost all history is in some way mythical. Like, it's, you don't even have consensus on events that happened so a few true. Ago, like nine Me lying about you know, things being so much better when that just factually isn't true. All lies are the same. God knows what it's going to be like in 10 years when we're looking back on the Trump and Biden presidencies. Exactly. Example. Anyway, let's go on to number two, propaganda. Uh, I don't understand The this. language of ideals takes on corrupted opposite meanings. Just the, the absolute bloody irony of this. Corrupt politicians run anti-corruption campaigns. Freedom of speech, it claims are used to suppress speech. So, oh, we're in favor of freedom of speech now, are we? Let's talk more about those evil MAGA Republicans, shall we? Yeah, let's talk about Silicon Valley deplatforming Trump under the guise of their First Amendment. So fucking true. You have, wait, you have the ability to kick somebody off of your lawn. You are, is hello has the I don't, like liberal enjoyer or whatever has the definitely not fascist now do not believe in personal property hello does uh does twitter not have the right to kick or like the owner of twitter not have the right to kick people off of their property now now you have to like kowtow to the woke mob and you have to uh or to the or any mob and now you have to let people use your property squat on your land use your shit make you look bad make you lose money all because like somebody's gonna get mad about it i don't know it's curious mm, curious how that works out and yes uh free speech can be used and to and a lot of freedom can be used to take other freedoms away Right, especially especially if you don't understand like positive and negative freedoms. Right. Mm, let's talk about Zelensky, bastion of democracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and the, the irony of this is well, like, you know, the corrupted opposite meanings. It's like that's really interesting because the left have debauched their understanding of language to the point where now they embrace vices as virtues. Mm. They say, oh, so, actually, so. gluttony is good, pride is good, all, so. and all of these things that you thought what were virtues, like self-restraint, modesty, decency. Now these pride are is good. Yeah. You know, don't you want to say white pride? pride? Like, to say, <clears throat> I mean, I suppose what I should be saying really is he's right, and this is proof that fascism is. Left Don't you want to be yeah, proud of your exactly. history? And it's also they both um, communism and fascism spring from the same hotbed of nihilism. He's a conservative that, that you oh, see yeah. in democratic cities, for example. People are in a pressure cooker of, of crime and degeneracy, mm -hmm. and either the entire civilization collapses or it falls into a cycle of totalitarianism. Yeah, and so they spring from the same awful soil. I mean, what future do people in these cities what? have? In um, Chicago, what, what sort of future are they looking at? Uh, either a very short Detroit. one or fleeing to West Virginia. Exactly. Anyway, let's go on to number three. Anti. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what, the fuck? What, the, what the fuck is going on? What did it, what do the people in uh, Chicago have to look forward to? Uh, moving to West Virginia, even though West Virginia is always losing people because no one wants to live there. Uh, but they'll, they'll definitely go. Yeah, what, one hundred percent. Um, yeah, nah, dude. E even though Illinois has been gaming people for since forever, uh, and uh, West Virginia, everyone's dying of black lung. They'll definitely want to live there, one hundred percent, because the the left is too January. Okay, Mr. Big Brain, he's in the building. Mr. Big Brain, he is he is here. He's woken up. He knows exactly what's going on.
It's just, I don't know. Very, it's very low IQ. It's, it's incredibly low IQ. I mean, I, I don't know if I can really do anything about it. I'm not sure if I can stop them. But this low IQ madness does need to end. I will say. It sucks? Yeah, I live next to West Virginia. I know it sucks. It's ass. Are you being British phobic? They deserve it. Have you seen these people? Intellectual. Universities are branded incubators of liberalism, Marxism, and feminism. God forbid. Show me the lie. Yeah, God forbid. Fascism is pointing out what's happening in the university. I'm agreeing with Expertise fascist no one has any value. Now, this, this is, as I explained a minute I'm ago, definitely not, not a fascist. fascist it's called anti intellectualism. Uh, they wanted intellectualism to be married to practice. Mm. Uh, but again, how is this wrong? Like, if we go, uh, there are plenty of surveys that have been done on this, such as uh, the Mises Institute did one on 12,372 professors. And for party registration, they found a Democrat to Republican ratio of 8.5 to 1. Yeah. So that's massive, right? But when it came to donors, okay. it was a donation to Democrats to Republicans of 95 to 1. So this is, you know, you can say, oh, I'm registered Republican. Okay, but where are you putting your money? The Lincoln Project. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Right. And it, it's, it's just, right, they, they found uh, 22 Republican donors out compared to 2,081 Democrat donors out of the 12,000 professors. So a lot of them obviously don't donate, but out of the ones that do, only 22 donated to Republicans. So, oh, yeah, the hotbed of Marxism and liberalism and feminism. It's like, yes, yeah, obviously. That, that also produces indoctrination. Um, you don't have to be a Republican to not believe in those things. So here's here's the first thing. You don't have to be Republicans to re believe in those things. What about the all the people who voted for people like Joe Manchin? Do you think that he's a, he's a bastion of liberal feminism or whatever? Do, do you actually genuinely believe that with your whole heart? Because if you do, I got a beach house I can sell you in Idaho, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Because um, this, this is indeed low IQ. This is supposed to be the master race. This is supposed to be the, the big brain race, really. We're supposed to... Honestly, I don't know. Maybe this is proof that, like, Britons aren't smart enough to be able to rule themselves, you know? They need somebody who can guide them, who can help them. England should be a state. It's students because even students who are not dogmatically left-wing going help in, them. because you are that which you continually do, yes. if you keep your head down and just get the grades you wanted, unlike me who was a bit of a loudmouth and got penalised accordingly, then you'll come out at least incorporating some of these ideas into your authentic personality because it's just easier to lean on what you know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah they just become unchallenged presuppositions mm. in your worldview. Okay. Um, you don't have to be a socialist not to donate to Republicans for one. Unless you are like Connor and you go uh, full radical against them. <laughs> I did get marked down for anti-feminist sentiment once. Direct quote. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my part. Yeah. Next is unreality. Uh, again, this is just remarkable. So and, and more proof that I think that fascism is in fact a left-wing movement. Facts are debased and without a common understanding of reality, reason debate becomes impossible. Let's talk more about how trans women are women. Yeah, let's define a woman next, Jason, shall we? Like <laughs> I'm doing my part. <laughs> Next is unreality. Uh, again, this is just remarkable. And, and more proof that I think that fascism is in fact a left-wing movement. Facts are debased, and without a common understanding of reality, reason debate becomes impossible. Let's talk more about how trans women are women. Yeah, let's define a woman next, Jason, shall we? Like, what, what do you... Facts are amazing. Amazing. You know, let's, let's talk about... What's the definition of a recession? Oh, I can't tell, because Wikipedia has redefined it 12 times in the last five, five minutes. Like, the, um, I mean, frankly, okay, I agree. Fascism is a left-wing movement, and the left is acting like fascists. I agree with you. Okay, so just so just so you know, he says the left are fascist here because for one, he disagrees with one definition of um of of woman, and also reset it also Wikipedia's definition of recession change a couple times. Some people went in and changed the definition of recession a couple times. Okay. Also, just so you know, the Wikipedia. So the whole thing with if you haven't heard of it, Wikipedia changing their definition of a recession has to do with how um, around the same time people were like talking about recessions. Um, Wikipedia was like worrying about like, well, some people, some Wikipedia editors were like, yo, what really is a recession? They just changed what they changed the definition of recession to is there is no globally understood, recognized and. Uh, there's no globally recognized definition for what a recession is, which is true, which is true. There's no official recognition for what a, a recession really is. That is a factual statement. Uh, conservatives like Carl got really angry about it um, because they wanted to like get really mad at their like left wing governments. Um, but like uh, but the reality of the situation made it slightly more difficult. And so instead of just like understanding that, they just like blame the system for being like fascist or something, which was incredibly odd, incredibly strange behavior. But also a discussion about what a topic like is and what a, a thing is and a, desi a social designation 
does uh well like a discussion about what a social designation should mean is um not fascism that's not what fascism is that on top of the fact of lots of people's definitions for for women has already included trans people i don't know like I, I don't know how this is like somehow worse than Donald Trump unironically being like, I love my alternative facts. It's, it's, alter it's alternative. It's like, it's, it's alternative facts. Okay. They give you uh, the facts and we'll give you like the alternative facts. Okay. We'll give you the different facts of the same thing. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Trust us. Trust me, but don't worry. That's not, that's not fascism. Why? I think it's, I, I think we all know why he agrees with it. It's wild how that works. Jason, you know, completely, completely agree. Unlikely that you would uh, come out and condemn the political milieu that you live in quite so harshly, but here we are. Anyway, next one is hierarchy. And uh, I, I love this description. Right, hierarchy, as Jordan Peterson correctly points out, predates the tree. Yep. So it just is. Every, and I, I remember watching a Vice News uh, uh, like expose on Antifa where they, they they were allowed to go into the Antifa commune and the women in the Antifa commune were complaining that there was a hierarchy in the commune it's like look if they if even they can't get rid of hierarchy I think we're just gonna have to live with yeah, it yeah right? they were making Molotov cocktails while the men were throwing them that was right and suddenly Antifa's based yeah. also we're against hierarchy now let me talk to you about the dictatorship of the proletariat oh god and just the, the they they without a doubt have a moral hierarchy I mean they they put fascism at the bottom of a moral mm. hierarchy you know they, they they believe in hierarchy they just don't want to admit it but uh, this uh, this is great fascist politicians attempt to prove natural my Antifa commune. My Antifa com. I love my uh, Antifa commune. It's very, it's very socialism. We do many socialism here. Um. So here's the thing. Uh, just because something's been around for a while does not mean that we can change it. Oh, listen. Ah, it's been around for a while. So why should we even try to like make things better? Why don't we just like be okay with what's happening, especially if it benefits me. Um, you know, I don't think it's, I don't know. It's just very, it's just very curious, right? It's very curious. I don't know. Like why, why in the world would we get rid of like monarchies? If that's the case, why don't we just keep all monarchies? I mean, monarchies in, in like colonies have been around far before humans. Ants have had Queens and bees have had Queens and in, in other like species have had like, you know, monarchs. Why don't, why don't we just like keep it there? Why in the world would we change? Why would we have you know them sign the like magna carta that's so weird that's wild it just is so like just accept it why change things it's it's low iq it's very dumb very dumb and they say this because it benefits them that's that's the reason why um simply because a group can't do everything that they want to do perfectly does not mean that this that system is impossible okay if that's the case then you know what maybe we should be anti maybe we should all be anti-capitalist then because capitalism uh, through th over through the old system, and that's bad. Don't do that. What the heck? I'm very smart. I know he agrees with having monarchy. Natural divisions between us and them. Oh yeah, natural divisions. Yeah, is it, if you can't, if you, cats and dogs are the same thing. There's no natural division between an animal. <laughs> French, animal, animal yeah. You know, Fr French people and Spanish people are just the same. You know, like. So, Chinese people and South American people. Does he What's not believe in white? That is true anymore? about the, the neoliberal universality. Yo, yeah. base Carl. We saw when Liz Carl Gunn doesn't believe in, in white. Aggression. Everyone's going, yo, oh, go up, go up, and makes more good. Uh, Meanwhile, Leicester yeah. is on fire. Yo, you know, Carl's anti whiteness? Yeah. Yo, just go down to Leicester and explain to the Muslims and Hindus that actually it's just a fascist distinction between us and them that's causing the riots. Mm. You know, there's no difference between you guys. What are you talking about? Let me talk to you about oh, fascism. Why are you chasing me? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and also, I'm pro diversity. Like, if there's no difference between us and them, there is no diversity. Don't know why you can. Again, Moving on, victim. I, just the irony that someone on the left would be like, "Yeah, so those fascists are always talking about." So, so here's the thing with um the us and them, the big us and them. Uh, well, actually, never mind. I already explained it. Never mind. Victimhood. It's like it's, it's, that's your entire political formulation, isn't it? Mm. Like no. that's the oppression. Everyone's being oppressed no. by the cis hetero white patriarchy. Also, any gains for minorities, them, what are a loss for, quote, us. Well, I'm glad that they that, concede that they operate off the socialist part, uh, fixed economic, fixed pie economics, then. But also, it's interesting how the minorities are them, and then us is just left undefined. Mm. Well, who's us? Is us the majoritarian society? Because, I mean, like, if we look at, for example, um, the amount of uh, social welfare that's given out, yes. it is actually disproportionate to the minorities and disproportionately paid into by the majoritarian society. Mm. So, I mean, again, I, I'm not saying I'm a victim because of that, although I would like to pay fewer taxes and yeah. have less of my money given as Gibbs. Uh, but that is true. 
Mm. Like, that is I love a true statement. That apparently fascism is observing re reality accurately, according to Jason Stanley. Fascism is just true. I don't know why you're bolstering fascism's reputation like this, Jason. You fool. Anyway, the next one is law and order. <laughs> oh, yes, you're a fascist <laughs> if you want law and order. Okay. They are criminals, lawless by nature and in need of policing. Hitler was radicalized by the FBI crime statistics. But it's also like, <laughs> it's also like they are criminals. Yeah, the they in there is criminals. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, I have videos of them stealing from Walgreens and cutting each other up with yeah. machetes. Looking at the riots. So what the, the fuck? The, the sort of flash mob looting, and yeah. it's like, sorry, it's it's urban minorities. Yeah, well, I'm not going to confuse a British seat with a gangbanger, shockingly yeah. enough. But, yeah, but that's you huh? making a distinction between us and them, you yeah. fascists. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how, like, this entire this entire thing is utterly incoherent. I'm surprised right? his brain hasn't leaked out of his ear at this point. But the, the, the best bit about this is when you ask the. Uh, so this is just, just so you know, this is just them agreeing with like fascism. So here's here's the thing, right? Once again, like I said, nobody wants to be seen as the bad guy. Nobody wants the f word to be put on them. Um, but they just kind of they just they just agree with it, right? They they literally they literally just agree with it, right? And like honestly, like. This is what other fascist regimes have done as well. Like they lie about their positions. They try to uh, say that they're not they're not the bad guy. I'm I'm not the fascist. I just want to listen. I'm just I'm just observing real reality, and I'm only all I'm doing is asking questions. You know, all of that type of shit all the time, all the time, right? So so here's the thing. Um, wait one second. I want to make sure that I got this right. Aaron society. Hmm? So I mean, again. I, I'm not saying I'm a victim because of that, although I would like to pay fewer taxes and yeah. have less of my money given as Gibbs. Uh, but that is true. So I, I don't know. They just don't understand the idea of like a concept and the way a concept can be used in a way that's um to further a political goal in like a bad way. So the us and them that fascists were using was like us, Jewish people, them, sorry, us, the, the normal um like uh non non Jewish German people and them being like the German people German people right and that us versus them specifically used the essentialization the dehumanization all of those types of things were used specifically for um uh, in, in in end goal um especially if it's just untrue right um I think it's very curious how he's taking this fascist idea of us versus them uh which is a, just so you know like fascism there, there are many definitions of fascism. I personally like to use the system. It's a far right social and political, social and economic uh, uh, ideology um, that brings together capital um, and the state um, that favors hierarchy and is bent on internal cleansing and or external expansion. And that typically, you know, wraps up everything that we need to talk about. Obviously, it can get in, it can get into more detail. Also, ultra nationalist. My bad, I forgot about forgot about the term ultra nationalist. That's incredibly important as well. Um, in there, that, that's a very big thing. Ultra nationalist, traditional. That is that is very important. I don't know. We can talk about FBI crime statistics. We can talk about how um, poor white people commit more crime than uh, poor black people do. Why do you think that is? Hmm, why do you think the same group, even though they're on the same economic uh hardships and sometimes even grow up in the same neighborhoods white people tend to commit more crime when put in the same position as black people do that's that's very curious how that works out is is it not hmm, i'm just i'm just asking questions what do you think it is even though even when you correct for um socioeconomic factors that white people com uh, seem to commit more crime when they're poor than uh, any actually any other race of people do Hispanic commits crime the least, followed by black people, and then white people commit the most amount of crime. Based per capita, uh, correcting and um, adjusting for socioeconomic factors. That's incredibly curious why they, hmm, hmm, maybe there's something in there make, that makes them think that way. I wouldn't say something like that. That's kind of ridiculous. There's other things that are at play um, for why those things could happen. But with these types of people, they, w they don't want to think any further than that because it benefits them to not go there that much further you know i don't know it's just the uh, bro we're definitely not fascist anyways yo this guy explained what fascism is and i just agree with everything what the hell like that it is must be his fault true statement that apparently must be his fault observing re reality accurately according to jason stanley don't know why you're bolstering fascism's reputation like this jason you fool anyway the next one is law and order <laughs> oh yes you're a fascist if you want law and order they are criminals lawless by nature and in need of policing 
Hitler was radicalized by the FBI crime statistics. But it's also like, <laughs> it's also like they are criminals. Yeah, the they in there is criminals. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, I have videos of them stealing like from Jewish Walgreens people? and cutting each other up with yeah. machetes. Looking at the riots in America and the, the, the sort of flash mob looting. You see how they're just like, implanting sorry, their own personal yeah, well, beliefs into, uh, uh, into these like, fascist enough, talking enough, points? But, ah, but that's you making a distinction between us and them, you yeah. fascists. <laughs> Wait, so you just agree with the points? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> you can see how Thank you. This entire, this entire thing is... You just agree with like fascism talking points? Good to know. Or just agree with fascism, period? Thank you. Uh, just, just the the communities in which all of these crimes are happening. Do you want more police or fewer police? They always get more, yeah. more police, more Obviously. police. And so every every old black woman is a, an old black man is a fascist because they want more police. The best video is the 2011 London riots where that mum goes down, recognises her son in the crowd, and starts hitting him over the head, putting the mask <laughs> off, and dragging him off home. Oh, that mum's a fascist. Yeah. He's in need of policing. Uh, the next one is sexual anxiety, which yeah. I thought was a, a strange uh, way to frame this because the description is: we support and protect the family. They are deviant and threatening. They being nonces. Yes, they being drag queen story hour. Yeah, with literally singing they're, we're coming for your children and they're grabbing yeah. their costumed crotches yeah and if, if you support and protect the family well you're a nazi congratulations anyway <laughs> moving on sodom and gomorrah he's just he's just not even trying okay so they're just so, okay good so they're just not even trying okay okay so obviously like groping children bad uh, um but he's i mean we can talk about like we, we, we can talk about conservative family values if you want we can talk, we can get on we can get on that topic if you want the fact that conservative families seem to um have more child abuse more um uh more csa things along those lines i mean we could talk about that i don't think you'll i don't think you want to i don't think you'll win that argument but i mean you, we can have it if you want the fact that conservatives uh commit more um acts of uh child sexual exploitation you know i mean i don't i don't think i mean i don't want to call all conservatives like people files but you know i mean if you're forced if you're forcing my hand but no in, in all seriousness this is this is just a ridiculous point we all know what they mean he's just being purposefully obtuse because it, it benefits him so the the idea of like the, the family and the family is so important and the family the traditional family that's the best one right and then using that to club other types of people over the head the way that they run their families and then trying to use like your parental movements or something for uh, uh for for their own like personal gain and for their own like political expediency uh is something that we've seen like a lot in like fascist regimes like i i, I don't i don't know what i don't know what you're talking about right well well known fact yeah um professor of fascist explains fascist um political ideologies fascists read them disagree and then uh talk about how cool fascism actually is all right then i am very smart uh, now i find this a bit of a strange uh title you're speaking because, my language <laughs> well sodom and gomorrah were both degenerate cities that were destroyed yep uh by god uh, but the, the framing is a dichotomous one. So you've got, we come from the rural heartland, the backbone of the nation, they live in cities. It's like, okay, Sodom and Gomorrah is not really the right way of framing it, but okay, no. okay whatever, whatever, right? They live in cities. It well, is. I mean, there's a reason that I refer to them as the urban youth, yeah. because they do live in cities. Yeah. This is where all the crimes are happening. Well, so do you. You're the laptop class. Yes. So you're facilitating this national fall. You live at the top of the high rise in the city and you're not on the streets in certain neighborhoods in the cities. But again, if we just look at Hitler's FBI crime statistics, we can see the locale. I mean, there's a website that tracks shootings in Chicago. Hmm. And so on any given weekend, there are like 50 shootings in Chicago. And it's always particular certain districts. It's not the it's not the sort of rural suburbs of yeah. Chicago. That's not where the shootings are happening. It's always a particular rural inner city area. Suburbs? And it's like, well, just... Chicago doesn't have rules. Okay. Okay. Rural suburbs of Chicago. Okay. I, I don't know. Does, does he know how cities work? And of course, cities would have more crime. There's more people. Why, why would there... It doesn't make any sense for them to be, like, not slightly more crime. I mean, there, there's more people together. Wait, okay. I don't know. Yeah, the sort of, like, degenerate cities that, like, must be destroyed. You must do a revolution. You know? To, to do something we're going to act as the hand of god here like I, I, he just agree he just agrees i i don't know i i don't i never understand right or my bad i do understand it's just so ridiculous how conservatives can just like agree with talking points uh, in one breath and then the very next breath say that they disagree with them the, here's the thing here's the real thing okay they just disagree with the label they d agree with all of the points they just disagree with the label i promise you if you lay down a bunch of like like what fascism means right and on a piece of paper and have like carl and his and his boyfriend here like all like um answer if they agree or not they'll all say yes and then 
If you say, are you a fascist? They'll all say no. It's just, is it fascism or is it what's really happening? Uh, and the next one, you've got to, you've got to finish on a, on a Nazi thing, haven't you? Oh, Our bikes macht frei. Work makes you free. That means they are lazy and undeserving. We are hardworking. That's genuinely almost identical to the Smithsonian's whiteness yep. thing, where it says being on time and working hard and the Protestant work ethic are white. Yeah. Like, I don't agree with the presupposition that black people are all lazy. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, Ben Carson. Hello. Well, you get lots of them. <laughs> but, but, but again, you're, you're trying to separate, you're trying to make distinctions between groups of black people. Yeah. You know, between types of black That's fascism. Yeah. Distinguishing between people who work hard and people who are just <laughs> welfare recipients and who shoot each other in the street while dealing drugs. There's a, so that's what a Nazi does. There's a little story in um, Ursula Le Guin's The Laugh of Heaven. The there's a psychologist who's trying to rationally plan a utopian society by using mm. his patient's ability to dream the world into being. Mm -hmm. And he tries to get rid of racism, prejudice, discrimination. It makes everyone completely grey. But there's no there's no discrimination anymore. Except there are disease cops who walk around on the street. So as soon as you have a deformity, they screen you for cancer and shoot you. Oh Jesus! Yeah. So you're always going to have some kind yeah, of classification, yeah, yeah. Yeah. which some people can interpret as inferior or superior. But it's the interpretation that's wrong. If it's an immutable characteristic, it's not the fact that there's difference. Yeah. The, the it what would the require the absolute happening? homogenization of the human race to erase any kind of prejudice or distinction between each other. Yeah. Is that, so we're is not, that not interesting. Do we just like okay? So we prejudice and racism sexism it's all okay because we're just gonna i don't know, just like live with it bro just it's 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 fine you know it's it's just like see the, he, they're doing they're doing the fascism thing they're doing it they're they're doing it it's like it, it, I'm, I'm looking i'm pointing i'm i'm leon i'm leonardo dicaprio i'm pointing at the screen look it's it's there it's literally right here <laughs> what the fuck is <laughs> It's it's incredible, bro. It's incredible. In one breath, you agree with all of this, and then the next, you just don't. I I I don't understand. Listen, it, it's fine. Listen, it, it makes sense. Somebody's got to be at the bottom. It's just how we're built. As long as just as long as it's not me, you know. It it it, it, it you know. It, it do what it, it do what it is, Yugi. It do what it does, Yugi. You know. I can't believe you'd fight so hard to get rid of racism. We'll never get rid of racism. It's okay. He knocked me out. He knocked me out with his poo ball. Yeah, it's not in any way, shape, or form. But anyway, the, the summary of this is that Jason is not speaking from within... Uh, sorry, I forgot to bring up the welfare statistics, but again, you can just see from the welfare statistics who's working hard and who's taking the gibbs. Don't know what to tell you. But anyway. Um... So, here's the thing. Yeah, you're right. We can see FBI statistics. And I, and I don't know why... They always bring up like America. Don't you live in a, a country like far, far off away? Don't you live in like a mythical dreamland? Um, that's uh, that is England. Um, but the, he always always talks about like America for some reason. It's very strange. It's very odd. Get your own shit, loser. Don't you have your own problems over there? What are you on your like seventeenth government in uh in <laughs> this week? Like, come on. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, we can look at FBI. So here's the thing: we can actually look at FBI crime statistics. the The overwhelming majority of people who take in welfare are um, non-white Hispanic people. Um, so honestly, if we got rid of non-white, poor non-white Hispanic people, our like usage of welfare would go down. Honestly, like obscenely, dramatically, incredibly, and all of all of the states that produce the most amount of uh, money. Um, have to on on you know begrudgingly, unfortunately, in my in my big city, the reason why I have so many taxes is because that money goes to states that you know you know they're not they're not they're not doing too well you know they need it. Where it's like the blue state welfare. It's true. They hate the they hate the big cities. They say they talk about how much the big cities do so much damage to everyone. There's so much crime. It'd be so good to live where I am, but they couldn't live where they were without like being supported they couldn't have their lifestyle without like without like the alimony payment that like big cities pay them uh yearly monthly weekly daily um to keep to keep their same lifestyle you know and we do it without without ask you know without without asking for anything in return except for stop voting for shitty people that make ours and your life even worse they don't listen though you know you know how it is hard to ration with these people um but 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 all jokes aside um like these, they, they're the ones that take in the most amount of welfare. I, I, I don't know what you're, I, I don't know what to say. You want to reduce crime? You can get rid of like non-white Hispanic people. If you want to reduce like welfare, you can get rid of like, um, poor non-white Hispanic people, They're specifically poor, right? If you want to get rid of uh crime, get rid of uh poor, poor non-white Hispanic people. If you want to get rid of uh welfare, get rid of poor non-white Hispanic people. 
all all the same. We, but don't worry, they won't they won't talk about that. You you know yeah we we don't need to talk about that. Anyway, just in summary, Jason is pathologizing the concerns of conservatives as fascism, and uh, this will not make conservatives hate the family or hate hard work. What it'll do is clean up fascism's image by making it seem respectable, actually, which is really silly. But also, if you when you go through that list, what you could also do is flip the whole thing and realize these are the desires of communism. Mm. You know, everything that he's cr criticizing the so fascists true. for uh, being concerned about, if you flip that around, well, that's actually what the communists want. They want to destroy the family. So they want true. Sodom and Gomorrah. They want the end to law and order. They want to be considered to be victims. They want destruction of hierarchies. They want unreality. They want anyone to be anything at any time. Uh, they are pro so promoters true. of Marxism, liberalism, Women are frogs. Feminism. Women uh, are helicopters, bro. And of course, they think we should begin at year zero. So. If you appreciated that segment from the podcast of the Lotus Eaters. So true, bro. <laughs> wait so you're against all of those things so you're for so okay so wait so by that definition you agree that you're a fascist then by that guy's definition i think literally sargon said that he was unless i missed something he said that he's basically a fascist or he just is which i mean you know i i don't really um i wouldn't be surprised by this this is not surprising in in the the least bit um he is an he is a white ethno national white british ethno-nationalist it's wild stuff